Let's talk today about the best settings for Fortune's Keep, and we're going to start off here with our controller settings, and then we'll work backwards through audio interface and graphic settings. Now, look, my whole goal is just to help you become a better player, and if you don't have the right settings, it's going to be hard to drop high kill games and be consistent. So let's make sure your settings are correct, and then you can follow along with my other tip videos on how to start dropping more kills. Now, starting off here, and real quick, I did give you chapters down below in case you do want to push forward, but first things first is our button layout. Now, I've got a few different options for you that I'll map out, but first things first is we have to flip our controls when what this does is it makes your lbrb or your l1 r1 aim down sight and shoot it decreases that response time compared to your triggers so it's going to allow you to aim down sight it's going to allow you to potentially get that first shot off on an enemy or even pull the trigger on your pistol a little bit faster a semi-automatic gun so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to but flip your controls using x on an xbox controller or square on a playstation controller and then go ahead and start getting used to that now in terms of our actual button layout you've got three different options if you play claw or have paddles, you can run default or you can run tactical flipped, of course. And what tactical does is it makes your right stick crouch prone slide, makes it a little bit easier to slide cancel, makes it a little bit easier to drop shot, you know, slide around corners because you can keep your right thumb on the right stick. But again, if you have paddles, you can just map your paddles that way. Now, if you have a normal Xbox or PlayStation controller, I always recommend bumper jumper tactical flip. The reason being is, and if you run bumper jumper tactical flips, can you vouch for me down in the comments below that this actually works? It's going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take getting used to. You're going to be uncomfortable using it but it makes your right stick crouch prone slide it makes your left trigger or l2 on a playstation controller your jump button so that allows you to slide cancel drop shot jump while shooting jump peak corners do all of those movements that you need to do without taking your right thumb off the right stick and again if you're on a normal controller that's the only way to do some of these movements if you're running default or tactical so bumper jumper tactical flipped in my opinion is the way to go because it allows you to do those basic movements especially slide canceling which is the most important important movement to do in warzone now in terms of our stick layout we have default invert vertical look disabled let's talk about dead zone here dead zone reduces stick drift but let me address something very important here yes my dead zone's a little bit high what you want is to turn your right stick minimum input dead zone up or you want it as low as possible so that your crosshairs don't move that's what stick drift is it's going to happen over time so put that up as high or as low as it needs to go to make sure that your crosshairs don't move i don't want to be fighting stick drift and trying to control a gun when I'm making those micro adjustments. Now, a lot of people match their left and their right stick. So most people would do something like this. I don't like doing that. Why? Because I want my left stick input dead zone all the way down. I want that to be a very fast response time, especially because this is what I used to sprint. So I want this down all the way to zero. I don't have stick drift on my left stick. My character doesn't move unless I tell him to. So there's no point to actually put that up that high. Maximum input is gonna be 0.99 and 0.99. Let's talk about sensitivity. now. A lot of you are going to get upset by my answer to this, but there is no ideal sensitivity. But let me tell you how to find it and let me help you out with this. My sensitivity is a 6.6, 6, but you can go up as high as 20.20. You can go as low as a 5.5. 5. That's about the lowest I would recommend you go. But it's all about feeling what is most comfortable for you. If you're on console, I would recommend somewhere in the 8.8 8 to 12.12 12 range and really getting a feel for those and trying to figure it out, which again, I'll tell you how to do in a second. But more importantly, more important than your sensitivity is going to be your custom sensitivity presume. Look, this is just what happens when you're looking around, when you're scanning left and right, which console players 8.8 8 to 12.12 12 will allow you to kind of look left and right a little bit quicker, making up at least a little bit for that FOV disadvantage. But custom sensitivity presume is what happens when we're actually aimed down sight. This is what happens when we need to make those micro adjustments and make sure that we're tracking people well and hitting shots. So I have a 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then a one for basically all of my snipers right here so that's kind of what i'm using in terms of my sensitivity to figure it out drop into plunder drop into caldera drop into modern warfare multiplayer bots and the best way to do it is honestly to just shoot a wall and play around with this different sensitivities feel what you can control the best so that's what it's all about is what feels most comfortable for you how precise are you with that right stick are you a little bit lighter or are you super heavy where the you pull down all the way and you that's how your shots tend to go as you tend to hit toes at which point you would want a lower sensitivity so that's my recommendation for sensitivity right there figure out what works best for you or try out mine and see how you like it and the other thing I'll say is make sure that your ADS sensitivity multiplier is off here. We want to make sure that that is locked. We want to make sure custom sensitivity per zoom is on. Now, aim response curve type is going to be dynamic. Controller vibration, you don't need it. Turn it off. It's just going to be distracting. It's going to affect your shots potentially. So turn that off. 
Aim assist is going to be standard here. Scale aim assist with FOV is disabled. ADS and melee enabled here. Hold, hold, hold. This is the next big one right here. Use reload behavior. Now, I use contextual tap. I'll explain exactly what this all means. Tap to reload means you tap your X button to reload. You hold your X button to open a crate or something like that. Now, tap to use is the exact opposite. You tap to use X button. So you tap to open a crate to pick up loot and you hold it to actually reload. Now, contextual tap means you tap to use both with a priority on using it when possible, meaning that when you go to open a crate and you hit X, it's going to be a lot quicker. When you need to reload, all you have to do is hit X or square. It's going to be a lot quicker. So that's how why I run contextual tap. It allows me to move around the map, make quicker decisions, open stuff quicker, reload quicker, pick up ammo quicker, gas mask or something like that now in terms of depleted weapon we put that on disabled armor plate apply all you definitely want this on apply all this way you can slide cancel while actually plating up important thing here to cancel this you are going to yy you're going to tap y button twice or your triangle button whatever you use to switch guns that is going to cancel your apply all i know a lot of people have questions about that how exactly do i go about that well here's your answer slide behavior is going to be tap i don't want to have to hold it especially because of what i told you earlier with changing your button layout this way you can easily tap and slide this is going to allow you to slide cancel easier it's going to allow you to slide around corners and stuff like that auto move forward disabled and then we're going to automatic tack sprint this is something that i use for much better movement it means as soon as i push that left stick forward i'm going to immediately start sprinting it takes a little bit of getting used to you want to be careful around like railings and ledges and stuff because you do have a tendency to auto mantle at first but that is something that you you will get used to all that all the reason you auto mantle is because you go to jump up and you push forward on that left stick meaning you immediately sprint off so you what you have to do is just jump and, and be cognizant of that now i do use automatic tax sprint it allows me to slide cancel easier really reset that tax sprint and get moving vehicle camera recenters disabled parachute auto deploy disabled now audio right here let's talk about audio real quick i did an audio video but let's go ahead and recap audio mix is going to be the first one do you run boost high boost lower boost the answer is it depends on your head Headset. once again drop into caldera plunder rebirth plunder whatever the game mode is that you can use this right now where you immediately respawn back in go ahead and try it out some headsets work best on boost high some headsets work best on boost low you got to figure out which one your headset for me it's going to be boost high now master volume here is your global volume if you are on console i would put this at 60 and even if you're on pc you can definitely put this on 60 as well pc i would recommend an application called soundlock which i'll put down in the comments below for you at which point you can bump up to 80 but hear me out what global volume is is everything going on around you this is the global volume this is the precision airstrikes this is the plane this is footsteps this is shots being fired this is everything going on right so we're gonna bump, bump that down a little bit we're gonna turn and i'll explain exactly why in a second just hear me out music volume is going to be zero we don't need music dialogue volume 60 this is going to be enemy flying in enemy uav overhead i definitely want to hear that but i don't want this guy shouting in my ear now effects volume is all the way up effects volume is this is the most important one is 100 this is going to be your footsteps this is going to be your shots being fired all of those effects going on around you but because we turn the master volume down to 60 it kind of makes effects a little bit louder it makes them stick out a little bit more and we're turning down the volume of those precision air strikes and everything like that so it's the, the difference between the two is now much closer together. Yes, there's going to be times where a precision airstrike drowns out footsteps, but for the most part, you're able to hear footsteps a lot clearer hit marker sound effects whatever you want and the other things that we are looking at here of course voice chat volume is super loud here just because of who i was playing with you want to make sure that you can hear your teammates but they're not too loud same thing for you make sure that your microphone's at a reasonable spot war tracks as passenger turn them off you don't need them color blind type i've disabled i am running nvidia filters still working through what exactly those are heads up display here i have it about 50 50 this is basically how close your hud is this is your mini map this is your ammo this is what gun you have all that stuff in the bottom right bottom left corners and basically all four corners right you have kills in the top right you've got the mini map in the top left you've got your plates and your teammates and you know all that stuff in the bottom left and you have all your weapon and ammo stuff in the bottom right so this is going to bring it closer to the screen or further away i found 50 50 to be a nice kind of middle ground it's not all the way on the edge of the screen it's not too far in this is just kind of what i'm Feeling right now this is a super crucial one and make sure you have this correct because i noticed a lot of people especially on console this actually reverted back to the default which is your mini map shape and rotation make sure you have square enabled as you can see here in the picture you actually get more with square so we want to use that to our advantage and we want the mini map rotating as we are moving about the map this way we are always facing and always seeing what is in front of us based on that mini map you know if i turn to the left that mini map is still going to be facing the same direction that i am 
other stuff here is nothing super important i'm gonna go through my graphic settings for pc players real quick console players going and fast forward to the gameplay i've got a 19 kill live commentary where i'm giving you insight into what i'm hearing what i'm seeing and why i'm doing what i'm doing on fortune's keep that allows me to drop a high kill rebirth win including a great clutch at the end so real quick i'm just gonna quickly go through these here display mode full screen obviously my monitor we have a 240 refresh rate make sure that your refresh rate or make sure that your monitor can actually handle the output of your pc so my max frames is around 210 i set it around 190 so my monitor can definitely handle it render resolution is going to be 100 dynamic resolution disabled all this stuff here v-sync disabled aspect ratio automatic let's go in nvidia reflex low latency i've enabled plus boost let's go into quality this is kind of the big one here fov i'm running 116 here and ads field of view should be affected this is super important i've seen a lot of people that are not using affected you have to be using affected it will make it so much easier for you to aim i can't believe i just said that somebody's going to clip it but whatever camera movement is going to be least streaming quality low i'm just going to go ahead and scroll through these real quick texture resolution low technically speaking if you put this on very low you will get an increase in fps but i think very low looks really really bad so i go ahead and put it on low texture filter and a soak tropic on low particle quality low bullet impact and, and sprays enabled tessellation disabled dismemberment and gore effects disabled we go ahead filmic strength film grain both on zero dlss disabled anti-aliasing off depth of field world motion blur weapon motion blur all disabled and then this is kind of the big one shadow and lighting this is where you get the biggest fps bump shadow map resolution low make sure you have cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows enabled for both of those particle lighting low direct x-ray tracing disabled ambient occlusion disabled screen space reflection disabled so those are my graphic settings still working on nvidia filters but but let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay here as i said 19 kill live commentary for you as we're dropping in here, if you are looking to get better at the Resurgence game mode, which is both Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I do videos every single day just helping people get better and start to get more kills. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something, and as I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow. Gabby, don't really have a... a uh, I probably could have grabbed the NZ right there, but just want to keep moving. So don't really have an SMG just yet. That's kind of my main priority here. Just something that I can fight with. Got the blicks in. So now we're. We're gonna go ahead and reposition back here. See if he challenges. I don't think he's going to. That almost kind of. That almost kind of. Made me die there. I wanted those plates. Ooh! Almost. Not quite. What's next? I really need like plates. Can't find plates anywhere. I don't think any of this is looted though, so we should be okay. Let's see if we can keep this game going. Had a few good games that were kind of ruined by unfortunate situations. But you know what? That's just part of it. I also think that's part of this map that we're going to have to get used to is the changing dynamic of it. It's a totally different map. And more importantly, it's a different play style. You know, playing more patient, trying to be a little bit more strategic. And we're going to see that where, you know, on Rebirth, I always talked about using your AR. Oh, look at that toss. That's a great toss right there. Wait, who threw that? Who threw that? I'm so confused. Okay, so they're up top there. Let's go ahead and challenge this way. Then we'll start to push into circle. Okay, so where did this guy just go? He's got to be camping in a quarter. I'll leave him. I shall leave him be. I got to mute my PC real quick. Let's mute. Okay, there we go. We're good. I mean, I guess I could take it out of the recording, but it's easier just to mute. Let's go ahead and right here. Other one's pushing me. 
No way, gas me. We're gonna push around. Ooh, the bounce shot. You like that bounce shot right there? Okay, let's go ahead and grab money this way. We gotta see if we can get a UAV up. Yep, we do have enough. Quick reload. Why did they throw a buy station? They have one. Okay. Let's go ahead and push this way. We got one flying in right above me here. Let's see if I can hit him with the best... Sensitivity. No, it's not the best sensitivity. The best sensitivity is whichever one you feel most comfortable with, as I said. There is no best. Okay, down below over this way. There is a little kind of like place you can come up here. I don't want to kill that guy. We can farm 100%. And you're going to see the pacing of this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why is my own cluster strike? Got to be careful. This is the place you got to keep moving. So if I do get locked in here, I apologize. I'm going to do my best to give you some, some insight. Okay, so obviously the truck. I hear one here. Here one around here. Enemy UAV active. I thought I did. No. Let's go ahead and keep pushing here. There were a bunch of people over here. Notice how nobody's fighting though. So what am I doing here? I'm just listening. We can start to push back this way. Yeah, right in front of me. I'm out. And that's how you use movement. Okay. So I, now I know where one is. Let's see if he chases. That's unfortunate that I missed that throwing knife. We'll loop all the way around here. Okay. Okay, teammates over that way. That's a quick challenge. You got to be careful, though. He almost had me. Marco just feels so good. I'm putting the Marco, the link to my Marco build down in the comments below. It's an interesting build. It's not the max mobility build. The max mobility build has more recoil. I like this one because it balances both. You obviously see the fact that... Okay, we're inside. Did I see a guy up top? I don't know if I did or not. Enemy. This lobby is still very healthy. And notice how we're just we're, we're playing patient. It's not a full send like Rebirth is. I'm still trying to learn the map. I mean, that's for sure. Trying to learn the ins and outs. Best rebirth sensitive. No, no, no. There, I gotta stop saying that. That's not fair to you guys. Right around the corner. I can't hit a throwing knife to save my life. Which is super unfortunate. What's one right over here? I don't know. Let's go back this way. Can't play that rooftop. I'm getting shot at from somewhere. Just don't know where. And when you're on these rooftops, you gotta be careful. You cannot overcommit. Time to cover your tracks. There's an enemy team hunting for you. I'm not seeing anything. Why do I never reload my NZ? An enemy team is hunting you. Don't No, okay, we're back in. I, I got caught there without having my NZ reloaded again, and look, those are the little mistakes that can get you killed. We're going to go over this way. Obviously, multiple teams fighting over here. 
hit that real quick. I've, I'll tell you what, the resurgence crates do have a lot of plates, so it's been nice. We're gonna go play rooftops. We're gonna play roof. guys okay let's see I swear this game's great The new map's incredible. Quick stim and I'm out of there. Got to keep in mind my ammo here. Got to keep in mind my plates. Ammo and plates. Got to keep those two things in mind. Playing rooftops here. Ammo and plates. I just don't have a ton of SMG ammo. That's the, that's the tough one. shots hurt that guy that's for sure okay. we push down now we just keep moving we just got to go find plates where's their buy station see there we go again plates in there like we're good to go i thought that was a person on that little corner right there this is a dangerous spot because overlooks a weird spot to be Got a long run to get to here. I'll buy plates in a second. We need six. Let's see if we can go push this way. We gotta get up top here. Okay, where can we go? I'm a little bit worried about people there. Like in this building. Keep moving. This is the dangerous push here. Nope, we're good. Ooh! There you see the finesse ability. Is that a word? I'm in a weird spot here. Two teams. Whoa, 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 where is that coming from? I heard one around me. Let's go. Let's go! 